I'm uh, inviting the petitioners. All of us should go to Marawi and let's see what's happening on the ground. Even the council. You know, some are, uh, <clears throat> it's hard to say on TV, but uh, I, I bear them. Let's go to Marawi. Kailangan ba pumunta ang Korte Suprema sa Marawi para madesisyonan ito? President Duterte was in Russia when he, he signed the uh, proclamation. Anong sabi ng Constitution? Any citizen can question the factual basis of martial law. Hindi sinabi ng Constitution any resident. Well, during the proceedings uh, in the, this morning and today, uh, it appeared that uh, there's actually no difference between the power of the President to call out the armed forces and the President's power to declare martial law, except for the ascendancy of the military. And uh, if there is no such uh, difference, then there is no need for the President to have uh, declared martial law, because uh, he's calling out powers would be adequate and sufficient. Walang, walang anong pakakaiba. Walang, wala. So there's no additional powers? There is no concrete additional power granted to the President. If that is so, that there is no need to declare martial law. Okay. If there is no need to declare martial law, then that should be nullified and recalled. Mr. Solicitor General, what in this particular situation, how are you now justifying the resurgence of the political question doctrine, which to all constitutional historians and scholars was the principal mechanism by which the Supreme Court was blamed for having unduly validated Mr. Marcos Martial Law? Well, one thing I can assure you, uh, Your Honor, President Duterte is not President Marcos. Well, I know the names are very different already. That's quite obvious. But what we are he saying here is that we are trying to establish legal standards. And you want us to go to a legal standard that has been much discredited already, which is the political question doctrine. Yes, this is the symbol of rebellion. Rebellion ito, because they have blessed their allegiance to the caliphate, si uh, al-Baghdadi of uh, Islam in Syria. Okay. Sir, why did you feel the need? Sir, why did you feel the need to show the justice? This is part of our evidence. Exhibit number one. Well, uh, we have nothing to hide. There. That's why we are willing to submit to the court's uh, uh, request. Unlike them, they have no proof actually. So, sir, for the court of public proceedings, or will it be a no? No, it will be a separate session. Sir, so, pinayagan na. That's yun nakatayong pinayag. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, available yung aming resource persons. Yes. 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 Unanimous, uh, almost unanimous yung Congress pa, super majority, so dapat reklamo siya sa Congress, huwag sa Supreme Court. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Yan mo si Solicitor General, si Kariga, na kakatapos lamang din ng kanilang uh, 
situation or our news of how sabi na para defense lang nga yung population number 216 ni Pangulo ni Duterte. Actually, mga kakatapos lamang ng or second day ng oral argument ng Court Suprema. At bukas nga ay Uh, inaasahan na pinadadalo sa third day ng oral argument si na Defense Secretary Delvin Lorenzana at AFP Chief Lieutenant General Eduardo Anyo call to declare martial law and suspend the written previous office but that call is not absolute it is not final because the constitution granted to the Supreme Court the power to review the factual basis sufficiency of the factual basis for such declaration and a suspension. Well, during the proceedings uh, today, this morning and today, uh, it appeared that uh, there's actually no difference between the power of the President to call out the armed forces and the President's power to declare martial law, except for the ascendancy of the military. And uh, if there is no such uh, difference, then there is no need for the president to have a uh, declared martial law because uh, his calling out powers would be adequate and sufficient. And consequently, I think that is the need that the declaration or proclamation of martial law should be very high. So clarification, because uh, uh, despite the the presence of so many safeguards in the Constitution. Those safeguards are only good if the President would respect the Constitution. So, so clarification lang, since uh, walang pinakaiba yung calling out powers and martial Walang, walang ganong pakakaiba. Walang, wala. So, so there's no additional powers? There is no concrete additional power granted to the President. If that is so, that there is no need to declare martial law. Okay. If there is no need to declare martial law, then that should be nullified and recalled. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yan, uh, mga kapatid, yung isa sa mga main petitioner na si Congressman Ed Selagman. At yun nga, ang sinasabi niya kanina, no, na, na na-establish kanina sa, sa oral arguments, doon sa after the presentation ng kaso, ng, uh, ng, ng Solicitor General yung presentation ng kanilang arguments ay sinasabi ni, ni, ni Congressman Lagman wala naman itong pinagkakaiba ng calling out powers at ng martial powers wala daw malaking pagkakaiba so so ito ay patunay na kailangang inalify na yung martial powers o martial declaration ng Pangulo dahil na, kung, kung pagbabatayan daw yung talagang sagot at yung yung uh, yung argument at yung maging yung yung pahayag ng ilang pong mga maestrado dito sa Korte Suprema ay wala naman daw pinagkakaiba. At kanina nga kung nakita niyo no, pinakita na na black flag, yung ISIS flag po yun, yun po ay na-recover ng scout rangers sa Marawi City sa kuta ng mga maute at ni Isnilon Hapilon. Ayon kay Solicitor General Kalida sa kanilang uh, opening statement to kaninang alas dos, ang flag na ito ay simbolo ng rebelyon sa Mindanao, kaya ito rin yung kanilang simbolo o yung kanilang batayan, kaya kailangan-kailangan na ideklara yung martial law. So bukas mga kapatid, baga alas 10 ulit ng umaga, ang ikatlong at huli na oral argument ng Korte Suprema sa mga petisyon laban sa martial law. Inaasahan din na dadalo si Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana at the Chief Lieutenant General Eduardo Anio kasama yung kanilang uh, magkakaroon ng ng martial law briefings with uh, the, the justices at ayon kay kay uh, Chief Justice Sereno they will do it uh, in private or in an executive session so so hindi para hindi raw malaman no hindi may isa publiko yung talagang mga classified information o yung talagang sinasabi nila na top secret ng gobyerno so Bukas, pinagsasubmit din ang soldier ng iba pang mga dokumento, kabilang na yung mga arrest orders, mga DOJ orders, at ng iba pang mga martial law related na, na operational guidelines dito sa martial law. So, abang natin bukas, ang susunod pa ng mga mangyayari dito sa oral arguments, dito sa Korte Suprema, sa mga petisyon laban sa martial law ni Pangulong Duterte. Ako si J. Bersena, kumaaksyon mula dito sa Korte Suprema. Para sa bayan itong laban na ito, we will do 
our best to win this case. Sir Paulito, po, ano po yung mga um, paano niyo po dedepensahan yung declaration o yung proclamation 216 ng Pangulo? Ang dami namin yung depensa. Mas matindi ang depensa namin dito kasi yung depensa na mga <laughs> But the strongest, sir, would be that there, there is factual basis for the declaration. Factual basis. Sino bang Pilipino hindi naniniwala na may rebellion ngayon? Nakikita niyo, araw-araw kayo, media, you're covering it. And do not have elements of rebellion. Public uprising. Taking away the allegiance of uh, Marawi and the parts of Mindanao to a broad state of ISIS. Sinusuklat na nila yung kwan, eh, religious yung kwan, kapupayan natin. Pinideprive nila yung pangulo natin sa mga kwan niya, uh, prerogatives as commander-in-chief and president. Kaya all the elements of rebellion are present. Very clear, sabi ko nga, as as uh, <coughs> As the sun rises from the east, I guarantee you there is rebellion. Kasi kung may basis na yung rebellion, pagsak niyo ka sa mga. May gulti di gulat di yung ikin. May yung meron din. Ano po is? Hindi ko pa nasasabihin. Hindi ka na magugulat. Hindi po si Jival yun sa kanya. O procedural. My lips are sealed until tomorrow. Okay. So today, sir, you'll just be listening to the chat. Today, I'll 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 just be listening to the chat. Mr. Sir, going back lang kanina, would you move for an executive session para, let's say, mga sensitive no, matters? No, because we have all the facts in our uh, comment. Uh, so it doesn't need to be discussed in... Kahit sure yung mga involved At na... At saka marami kami in the next one. We annex our <coughs> evidence. Uh, so, so your defense na dapat yung martial law declaration daw ay within Marawi City lang after the entire state? Entire Well, it's, it's in our comment actually. Kasi you cannot contain rebellion in one area. Lalo na sa Mindanao, maraming magkakamag-anak. And there are four alliances already of ISIS-inspired terrorist groups. Iba-ibang parts of Mindanao. Di ba may bakbakan na kailan ba yun? Isang labi. Sa Sarif Agua, Mindanao. That was BIFF. BIFF is also ISIS inspired and they have less allegiance to uh, ISIS. ISIS. So, Kasama yan, yung apat na yan. Expectation po natin sa three-day oral argument. We have any expectation, sir? Sa? Sa oral arguments natin in the next three days. Expectation po? Well, I hope to convince the uh, Supreme Court justices. And confident ta kayo na Chill and confident. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yan po mga kapatid, si Solicitor General uh, uh, Jose Calida. Alikita niyo po siya kanina. Sa salita, si Soljen Calida. Kasama niyo yung mga opisyal ng Soljen na kumakatawan sa mga... Cheers. Sa mga...